Our medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is here now to explain a little bit more about what all this means. Jocelyn, this is frightening for those patients. Extremely stressful. The Connecticut Department of Public Health tells me they take the unsafe use of medical devices seriously and has launched an investigation. A spokesman tells me it must never be used for more than one person, even when the needle is changed. What exactly is an insulin pen? Well, I have one right here. As you can see, it is shaped like a pen and it's designed to help patients manage their diabetes. It's convenient and offers a more accurate delivery compared to using a syringe. The needle attached to this one is removable, so the injector part of it can be re reused. Now, Griffin Hospital says at this time there is no evidence that there has been any disease transmissions with the needle they used, and that needles were not used on more than one patient. Still, they are saying it is a serious safety health issue and are asking patients to be tested as a precaution for hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Be unlikely to happen, but you are hooking up a needle to a reservoir of a medication and you're putting it into the bloodstream. So conceivably blood could flow back into that cartridge, however unlikely. If they do find evidence that disease has been transmitted, therapy for any one of these, hepatitis B, C, and HIV, is not an easy thing to undergo. Absolutely not. Uh, there are some very serious medications that you use to treat these. Uh, and people on medications for uh, hepatitis B, C, or HIV do have a lot of side effects from it. Dr. Frank Mangiello, a New Haven internist, and I checked with the two largest healthcare systems in the state. Both Hartford and Yale New Haven tell me they do not use insulin pens at any of their associated hospitals. Two hotline phone numbers have been set up for patients to schedule an appointment and for any questions they may have. The numbers are 203-732-1411 and 203-732-1340. There will be no charge for screenings, testing, or counseling. Jocelyn, we're talking a six-year span, more yes. than 3,000 patients, and there's this letter that's being sent out from yes. the hospital to the patients? Exactly, and they need to look at that letter and really take a look at it and make sure that uh, if they have any questions, they need to call those phone numbers. But that letter may not have gotten to some people yet, Not yet, right? right. Okay, Jocelyn, thank you. All right, Jocelyn, thanks.